I have a very simple leave request process that allows an employee to update a request if it was sent back for date changes. They also have the opportunity to cancel and delete the leave request. If they choose that option, we can have the workflow delete the leave request record by calling a delete method from the leave request data sources smart object. This is a SharePoint list I'm working with, but for demonstration purposes, I'll open the Smart Objects Toolbox group. Keep in mind that most of the Smart Objects step configurations will follow this same process for you when building out your workflows. Notice the various categories available here. Only Smart Objects you have access rights to will appear in the toolbox. So the list of smart objects and the categories that appear may be different for you, depending on your rights and environment. I'm going to go down into the SharePoint 2013 group, locate my leave request list smart object, and drag it over to the canvas just below the cancel leave request decision here in the lower right. The exclamation point icon signifies that we still need to configure this method call, so I'll expand the configuration panel from the upper right config panel button. Then from the method dropdown list, I'll select delete list item from the list of available methods. The configuration screen does change a bit to handle what is needed to call this delete method. This may look different depending on the method you select from the list. In this case, we only need the list items ID number as an input parameter. I can grab this from the item reference for this list item in the context browser by clicking on the context browser icon in the upper right. Then I can open the leave request reference and drag the ID field over to the ID input mapping property. That's all I need to do for this smart object method call, but I will hover over the update leave request path decision step and drag the cancel leave request path connector down to this smart object step to finish it up. Actually, while I'm at it, let's also make this easier to read and support by making sure the name of this step adds meaning to what it does. I'll double click on the steps label and rename it to delete leave request. Basically, when this workflow runs, if a request task goes back to the originator and they decide to cancel their request, the workflow will then follow this path and delete the list item from the leave request list by calling the smart object delete method. 